You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. No! No! Good morning, Bobber Lou. Bobby, you kind of stink. Bath time. All right, hop up. Good boy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Bobby, stop, you love water. Bobby, it's okay. It's okay. Bobby, I get all this dirt out because your favorite activity is rolling in dirt roads. You know? <laughs> Good boy. Abominable snowman. Holy cow, dude. Am I shaming you? I'm sorry. You just look so funny. <laughs> You're like twice your size. Look at you. All snazzy. Please, like, get me out of here. Good boy, Bubby. You did great. Good job. against Google Maps and I just want everyone to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Seems like more often times than not that I go to find a campsite from iOverlander because there's an option where you can hit Google Maps and it'll just plug the point in for you and just take it. It's really easy. Well, it should be really easy, but it isn't because Google Maps will take your pin in the middle of your route and just move it to somewhere random in the woods and then you're like going an hour out of the way. You know, it's just a little irritating. So I was just backtracking like 30 minutes because Google Maps did that to me and threw me to a random point. I was like going 90 degrees up this hill. It was so steep, probably burned all my gas, but it's fine. I'm just gonna sue them for emotional turmoil. Okay, anyways, maybe I'm just being a little bit dramatic. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> I guess it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I won't file a lawsuit. Fine. But now we are en route to our actual campsite. Um, and I've triple checked it to make sure. Zoomed in on the satellite, you know? So we should be good now. So let's go to camp.
Come on. Oh my gosh. Look how clean this pupper loo is. <laughs> Look at him. He's so clean. He smells so much better. Do you get a whole new view up here, bub? Go have fun. Go potty. You know, the coast of Washington kind of looks like Montana. What? Oh, you probably need dinner, huh? Yeah, you're probably hungry. Alright, let me feed you. You guys, I need to remember to buy a new bowl for Blue because I think I accidentally threw his away. Don't even ask me how. I don't even know how one does that. But I kind of think I did. And so I've been feeding him out of a Tupperware container, which is fine, but I just feel like you deserve stainless steel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Are you bougie, Blue? Are you a bougie pup or what? Oh my gosh, ew! There's cigarettes all over the ground. Why do people litter? I swear. Like, please don't go camping if you're gonna litter. Who raised you people? One thing I would recommend to you guys is after you give your dog a bath, like if you're living out of a car and you're trying to keep down your hair in the car ratio, um, they're super sheddy after you give them a bath because you're like knocking loose all of their hair. <laughs> Blue, you dingus. He just like walked into the fire bed and tripped. Literally right in front of your face. But anyways, I just always run over Blue with his normal brush because I feel like it gets the majority of the loose hair out of his system because he uh i don't need any extra hair in my car than i already have you know what i'm saying so i just try to cut that down as much as i can excuse me we're just doing a run through and then we'll go on a walk all right let's take you on a walk yeah get all the hair out good job all right, we are on mission wear out blue because I had appointments all day today and uh, well, we did take a morning walk. Blue's pretty hyper and we've got like 30 minutes till sunset and that means getting in the car. So we have 30 minutes to wear out blue, but usually on gravel roads, I'll let blue do his thing and just be barefoot and he's fine. Um, but this road that we're on right now is super sharp rocks and um, walking on it is fine. But playing fetch, which is what I'm about to do with him, I don't trust that that would be great on his little paws. So we're going to put on a summer boot. And then we're going to wear him out. Okay? I don't need to sleep next to a hopper dog. You get to wear your boots? It's funny, I bought a rain jacket for Blue because I knew we were coming here and I haven't used it once. You haven't even encountered any rain. All right, child, come here. We gotta get your kicks on so we can go play fetch. You wanna go play? <gasps> you wanna go play? Yeah, you do. Stop. I have to protect you from the rocks. All right, last one. <laughs> oh, Bubby, you're so cute. I know, we really don't wear these enough for you to be, like, super used to them. <laughs> Get up! Come on! <laughs> Are you ready to play fetch? You wanna go play? Yeah! Good boy. Yep, you're hyper. You sound like a galloping horse. Bub! Come on! Crazy pants. Zoom!
Yeah, I'm glad I made him wear boots because these rocks are like hurting my feet. Do you guys see what I mean when I say it looks like Montana? Gorgeous. At least that's what it reminds me of. Oh, blue. I'd say I'm doing a good job of wearing you out in time. Go me. Wow. Look at this little meadow. Beautiful. But you're still prettier, Bubby. <laughs> Come on. How about this sunset's about to be insane? I'd say we tired him out. That was a good 30 minutes. Let me give me your toes. Look, drink your water, it's right there, silly. Yep, give me another one. Cal, drink your water. Drink it. Water. Fur blue. All right, puppy. Come on. Hop up. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. All right, I'm gonna run the AC for a minute just to get some airflow in here. I think a mosquito bit me on my finger. That was really rude of them. No! 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 You guys! You guys! You guys! You guys! You guys! No! No! I'm honestly so mad at myself right now. Rue was on an angle. We were kind of on an angle with this campsite, but you guys know my emergency brake doesn't work. 
And so I just pulled Rue forward a little bit because I noticed like over the edge a little bit, it looked flat. So I was like, oh, let me just move Rue up six feet and level him out. And I ran over my tripod and broke it. I just opened this to spit and I pulled this out. <laughs> no! R.I.P. Tripod! No! I can't believe I ran over my tripod. I, a lot of the times when I'm in the middle of nowhere and no one's around, I'll leave my tripod outside of the car because I just am gonna film with it tomorrow morning, first thing. So like, why would I put it away just to get it right back out? So irritated. Let me order one to an Amazon locker. Are you kidding me? I can't believe I just ran over my camera equipment. Like, leave it to me, you know? That would only happen to me. Only I would do that. Good job, Maria. Oh my gosh. How irritating. You guys, I can't do this without a tripod. I need a tripod. Well, at least it's on sale right now. 27 buckaroonies. A lot of people shoot with really expensive tripods and I'm sure, you know, for whatever they need it for, it works really well and that's amazing. But my, I have, I've shot and like filmed with really expensive tripods. To me, the ones that are like hundreds and hundreds of dollars are super like cumbersome kind of annoying to deal with, heavy. I get this $27 tripod off Amazon because I broke this. Actually, I broke this back in February or March, I think. I just ripped the tripod out of the car and it ripped, it broke off the lever part. So now I go to like set my camera on my tripod and it just falls off, so. That's how I broke my tripod. I broke the same one and now I just broke it again. I always repurchase this tripod. So it's a good one. If anyone needs a tripod, can't recommend enough. Enough. Okay. I need to ship you to an Amazon locker. Like, girlfriend, get a grip. Blue, your mom is a hot mess. But do you have water in the back if that's what you're hunting for? You have water up front and in the back. Anything for you, kid. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. My question to my previous self was why did I throw my tripod in front of the car? Probably because I didn't think I was gonna move it, but still. Wow. All right, Pupper Lou, let's go to sleep. New tripod should be here in about a week, so we're just gonna have to be creative till then. <laughs> oh my gosh, I still can't believe I did that. I swear I'm smart. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.